One of the many ways in which millionaires think differently from those who are still struggling to achieve financial goals is that millionaires always keep track of when they are creating an expense versus an investment. They primarily have investments and only take on an expense when they can justify it in terms of either necessity or increased life enjoyment. But what is the difference between an investment and an expense? Well, the key difference is that an investment pays you back later, whereas time or money that has gone toward an expense at best keeps you at break even and at worst can even put you in a hole later. Try to classify the following expenditures. Education, investment or expense? If you said investment, you are correct. Education is something you spend time and money on now with the intent of having that result and you're making more money later than you otherwise would have or in having greater enjoyment and life fulfillment later than you would have without the education. So long as you see a specific goal the education leads to and apply yourself to your studies with that aim firmly in mind, it is generally a good investment. Rent on a house or apartment, investment or expense. If you said expense, you are correct. Though this is certainly a justifiable expense if you don't own your own home yet, it is in fact an expenditure that you have to keep making as long as you want to benefit from it. When the expense goes away, so does the benefit. You don't get to live there anymore as soon as you stop paying the rent. How about a mortgage on a house or condo, investment or expense? If you said investment, you are correct. Though some expenses will continue even after you pay off the mortgage, such as a condo fee or property taxes and insurance, the actual land and structure can be kept long after you have stopped paying for them. You pay now to not only have a place to live in the short run, but also a place to live or sell after you stop making the expenditure. How about a book you write? Investment or expense? If you said investment, you are again correct. You invest time in writing and promoting it now in the hope that it will pay you back again and again after you stop investing time in it. How about a car? A car is an expense. If you use the car for work, then it is a business expense. Again, not all expenses are bad. I personally have a rather expensive car, an Audi Q5, which I love. It costs me about $1,000 per month to have it, which is a sizable expense but it is worth it to me for the enjoyment I get from it. But never for a minute when I was making the decision to take on this expense did I delude myself into thinking I was making an investment. True, Audis hold their value during resale, and I will probably get back the same price I originally paid when I go to sell it in a few years, so that my only true expense is insurance, maintenance, taxes, and unrealized gains from what I could have done with that money as an investment in that time period instead. But a mitigated expense does not suddenly become an investment. Cars depreciate, however slowly. They are therefore expenses. One more. How about an internet connection? An internet connection is an expense because as soon as you stop paying for it, you stop having access to it. It may, however, be a very justifiable expense. If it is a business expense, meaning you use the internet connection in order to do your work, then it is definitely a justifiable expense. But even if you're only using it for entertainment, it still may be a justifiable expense if it brings you great enjoyment and is cheaper than what you would otherwise do to get that same entertainment value. Things we simply enjoy are usually expenses and not investments. Though not everything can be an investment, it is important to keep track of which we are making during a specific decision and to make sure that we are keeping an eye on the balance between investment and expense in our budget. Millionaires prioritize investment far, far, far above expenses. Just being a millionaire doesn't mean you throw money around as if it was water. To the contrary, millionaires tend to be more deliberate and focused in the way they spend money, and this is the chief way in which they do that. They make sure that more of their time and money is going toward investments than towards entertainment. Let me say that again to make sure it is really coming through because this is crucial. If you want to be a millionaire, you must make sure that you are spending more time and money on activities and expenditures that will pay you back after you stop doing them than you spend on activities or expenditures that merely result in immediate enjoyment. With that in mind, how many hours of TV should you be watching in a given week? 
How many hours of TV are you watching in a given week? What is your plan going forward? On another note, it is important to keep in mind that just because something is an investment in general, there is such a thing as a bad investment. Take education, for example. Being a lifelong learner is not the same thing as being a perpetual student. Make sure not to use educational investments as a way of avoiding the life period in which you must apply what you have learned and start creating results. There is some education you get for a degree and some you get to simply develop skills without needing to take on student loans or take years out of your work life. Always consider the size of the investment in proportion to the size of the payoff. If you can achieve the same financial returns on self-paced study in an online course as in a full-time two-year degree, it makes no sense to devote two years and so much extra expense to get the same return. Millionaires routinely make cost-benefit comparisons and make rational decisions. Which means more to you, being the first person in your family to go to college or to be the first person in your family to become a millionaire? The former is an emotional achievement. The latter is a practical one. This same way of comparing one investment possibility to another applies with any sort of investment, not just education. Complete the exercise in the Passion Pay Day workbook for this lecture to sort out your current expenses and investments. Then consider whether the balance is ideal, or if not, what you will do to improve it.